Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Ones Upon a Game, and today I'm going to unbox the recently arrived uh, new version, upgraded version of Nemo's War, uh, the second edition from uh, Victory Point Games. This was a Kickstarter. It funded. Um, this, I believe, is going to be the retail box that you can get from uh, BPG or uh, from retail if they have extras. If you were a Kickstarter backer, you also got these really cool uh, canvas bags for drawing and a Nemo's War pen. So those will not be in the uh, retail version. I assume they might be in the, uh, you know, be available at conventions or otherwise. So I'm going to do a quick look at what's inside the box. I know very little about this game, except that it's very popular for solo play. And of course, the old version was the horrible, horrible. Uh, uh, victory point counters before they had the really awesome laser cut counters. Unfortunately, I don't believe this has the laser laser cut counters. They've been downgraded to the die cut cardboard counters, as we saw in uh, uh, Dawn of the Zeds uh, third edition. Um, they went with that. You could add on to get the good counters, um, but they they kind of lowered their standards there a little bit. So we'll see what we got in here. But I know there's a miniature in here. So let's take a look. Alright, so we open it up. We got a rule book, obviously in color. Like Rat Patrol. And it is a completely full color book. It is 32 pages. Pretty, pretty. I mean, there's some large print, there's some small print. Uh, Victory Point Games usually has pretty easy to follow rules, though. Um, their uh, States of Siege games were pretty easy to follow. I know in the uh, Dawn of the Zeds, they had um, uh, several rule books to guide you through. And uh, so they do a pretty good job with their rules writing. So I'm, I'm trusting it's going to teach me this game pretty quick. So there's the rule book. We have epilogues, which is, I guess, I'm not going to look at those or show those, except to look at how many pages it is. It is uh, black and white, but it's basically how your mission is going to end um, based on different conditions, I assume. They're not even page numbered. So, I don't know. I'd probably say it's 24 pages, maybe. Maybe 32. I don't know. All right. As I feared, we have the, uh, you know, the die-cut counters are great for most games. G GMT has die-cut counters, and you love them, and they're, they're wonderful. So, I should not be too hard on VPG. It's just when they had such a superior product in the laser-cut counters to to have the downgrade, it's probably easier for them to make this way, but to have, you know, just, you, you feel like, oh man, wish I had the better quality, so, anyway, so you got sheets of counters, you got one, two, three sheets of counters, uh, we've got various ships, markers, uh, looks like some event counters, some other ships, clippers, mail ships, passenger ships, Sea serpents, pirate ships, it looks like. Uh, some tracking boards, it would appear. And again, they, feel, they seem pretty well registered. Then we got a board. Oh, we got a little storage container. That's kind of nice. So let's see. How big is the board? It looks like it's six panels. So maybe it's on camera. We may have to open that in a minute. I'll do that as a separate take. Yeah, we'll do that in a Beautiful board, though. Uh, we got an advertising. Ugh. Ugh. Advertising for horrible games. So, you know what? We're just going to get rid of that. I don't want that. All right, we got another little sheet of counters. Um, little half sheet. So, we got three and a half sheets of counters. Or three and a quarter sheets of counters. And we've got crystals, little plastic crystals. It looks like you got about four each of four different colors, so 16 of those. You got five dice, three black, three white, and two black. We have some cubes and a little A marker. So this is just some very little A. And some black cubes and some desiccant gel. We have our Nautilus Mini. It's going to move around on your board. The uh, Submarine of Love. And 
Right. And we have deck cards. Oh, it's a thick deck of cards, too. Looks like it's a combo, and they do have the nice little uh, uh, chewing gum wrapper fuel thing. Let you get into them without cutting them with a knife. So we have different types of cards here. We've got co-op roll. We've got Nautilus upgrade cards. Adventure cards. The rest are all adventure cards. So I assume those are going to be the different adventures you can go on and test yourself and game points and do things and earn things and do things. Again, never played the original game. So this is just showing you what you get in the box. Not commenting. Too much, except on what I do know. So these are your different roll cards. You're playing co-op, which is good because co-op, fully co-op, is 100% solitaire friendly. Always, 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 always. If it's semi co-op. It's not fully co-op. So cooperative games, always solo friendly. So uh, three and a half sheets of counters. Uh, you get a uh, epilogue book. You get a rule book. You get a game board, which you can open up in a minute. And we will get that right out. Okay, so we've got the board opened up here. It's a, a serviceable board. Uh, it's very uh, vintage looking. Uh, one thing I like is it does have the uh, turn sequence and combat sequence noted on the board. So you don't have to keep flipping the books. Um, it's a cool looking board. I mean, I like it. I, again, I don't know how it works functionally. Um, but it is beautiful. I like the washed out tones on it. Um, it's uh, six panels, so it's going to be, let's see, 17 by 33, I guess. Yeah, 17 by 33. Um, so it takes a decent amount of table space. Uh, I'm not sure how much uh, you're going to have surrounding it. But uh, anyway, that's the board. And we already showed you all the other components. But what you get inside of the reprinted, the updated second edition of Nemo's War. And uh, it's uh, from Victory Point Games and designed by Chris Taylor. So appreciate you watching. God bless you.